adding spot UV or foil is the perfect way to make your print stand out. Watch this tutorial to learn more about the file setup. Before we start, keep your artwork away from trim and folding lines and avoid thin line work or large blocks of foil coverage. Also, avoid submitting raster files from Photoshop as jagged edges will affect the quality of your prints. Setup instructions will vary between softwares, so jump to the timestamp that works best for you. Let's start off with Spot UV using InDesign. Some helpful panels for setup include layers, separations preview, attributes, and swatches. Create a spot color by going to Swatches, New Color Swatch. Name the layer Spot UV and select Spot as your color type. Make it 100% magenta so you can see the fifth plate clearly. Now, create a new layer to place the Spot UV elements. In this case, we will apply Spot UV to the entire logo. To do so, copy your desired artwork and then paste it into place on the new layer. With the new Spot UV artwork selected, go to Swatches and apply your Spot UV color. Toggle with the visibility in your separations preview to verify that it displays correctly. In some cases, you might see a white cutout of your artwork. To fix this, go to Attributes and check Overprint Fill. If your final file resembles this, then you're good to go. Remember to export with Bleed. Now we'll take a look at foil setup using InDesign. First, click Swatches, New Color Swatch. Name the color foil to stay organized. Select Spot as the color type and set it to 100% magenta for visibility. Now, create a new layer to place the foil elements. In this example, the M and X will be foiled in silver. To prevent registration issues, foil elements must be placed with no artwork indication in the background. Create a new layer with just the artwork that will be foiled, so in this case, I will place M and X on the top foil layer and the remainder of the logo on the non-foiled artwork layer. With the M and X selected, go to Swatches and apply your fifth plate. Once this is complete, click onto Attributes and make sure Overprint Fill is checked. This will ensure that the foil sits seamlessly over its respective background. The final result will look like this when clicking through Separations Preview. Remember to export it as a PDF with Bleed, and you're good to go. Create a spot color for your, the UV varnish by selecting Swatches, New Swatch. Enter a name such as Spot UV, and then select Spot Color as the type. Set the spot color to 100% magenta for visibility. Now, create a new layer to overlay your Spot UV artwork. In this case, we will apply Spot UV to the entire logo to make it stand out. Copy the Spot UV artwork and then paste the graphic in place on the new layer. With the new Spot layer selected, click onto the Spot color you've just created. Toggle with the visibility on your Separations Preview to verify that it displays correctly. In some cases, you may see a white outline after unclicking the Spot UV plate. In this case, click Attributes and then check Overprint Fill. As long as your artwork resembles this with a fifth plate, you can save and upload to our website as a PDF. Now we'll take a look at foil setup using Illustrator. In this scenario, the M and X will be foiled in silver. To create a fifth plate, click Swatches, New Swatch, then create a name such as Foil and enter spot color as the type. Set the spot color to 100% magenta for visibility. After the spot layer is created, add a new layer for your foiled artwork. In this scenario, I am simply cutting the M and X and then pasting it in place on the foil layer. This is because the foil must go directly against the background with no indication of the artwork. This is to prevent registration issues. With the new foil layer selected, click onto the spot color you've just created. 
Now click onto the separations preview to verify that the artwork displays correctly. In some cases, you may see a white outline after unclicking the foil plate. In this case, click Attributes and check Overprint Fill. The final file will look similar to this. Export as a PDF and you're good to go. Lastly, this is what your files will look like once uploaded to our website. We recommend downloading the PDF proof and opening it in Acrobat. From here, you can proof your colors and image quality, as well as use the output preview tool to view that fifth plate. If you have questions about this process, contact our team for help. Thanks for watching this tutorial and happy printing!